The following broadcast is brought to you by the friends and partners of Revival Ministries International. Before I get into the scripture again and then give you an opportunity to sow seed, let me just say this. One of the things that I found out is that the Lord is not limited to the way we look at supply. You know, especially if you've been serving the Lord for a long time, many years, you think you know every way the Lord's going to bring it to pass, and you don't. God has so many unexpected ways to bring it to pass that I still stand amazed because, you know, we pray for many miracles, not just for, you know, what we believe in God for, but for other people. So we believe in God for miracles for you and provision for you. Amen. How many knew that, that we do that? Amen. We pray over you, pray every, every day, Lord, please bless every, every river member, and you know exactly what they need. All the needs are diverse. Because people are believing God for different things. There's people here have ministries. There's people here have their own businesses. People here that aren't believing God, you know, for a new house or vehicle, whatever. And one of the things that still astounds me to this day is that the Lord always comes up with a way that you never, that you never thought. You, you, you walk out of the place where you saw the miracle of provision and go, I never, I, I was expecting you to do something, but I never thought you'd do it that way. So I want to just say this to every single one of you, and especially you watching in your homes right now, because there's people watching, they don't have a church that even talks along these lines. Are you with me? It's a fact. Most of the places are just it's time for the offering, and they quickly, before you know, the buckets are there. The Lord told me to teach these principles and let people give based on the word. When you give based on the word, there's a totally, you're standing on a sure foundation. Can you say amen? amen? This is the way God's economy functions in the church for God's people to bring the tithe in the storehouse and to bring our offerings and worship him. But then we are to expect, and I've heard many people say, well, we should never really expect anything in return. That's not what the Bible says. Are you with me? <clears throat> the Bible says, give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Say that after me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Say it again. <clears throat> That's what God's Word says. Now, I, I, when, whenever I heard that scripture for the first time, <clears throat> and I thought about giving, I thought about when I was a kid, and we go to the supermarket or whatever, and they go to the sweet section. You know, kids love the sweet candy section of the supermarket. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. They kind of gravitate towards that. And so I didn't realize as a kid that everything's weighed by the pound. Are you with me? So I thought is what you can stuff in that bucket. Are you with me? So instead of realizing it didn't really matter, whatever the bucket weighed would be what you would pay. I just thought as much as I can get stuffed in that bucket with sweets, then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm leaving with a, with a great haul. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I made out like a bandit. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, it just weighed more. So you paid more, but you, you don't understand that. And so whatever I stuffed into that bucket was good measure, pressed down. I even shook it as a kid. I banged it on the table, hoping to get everything down lower and then push some of the candy was squashed because I was going to squash it in there. And I stuffed it in there. And then people said, you don't have to stuff it in. You can take two buckets. Well, I didn't think about that. So I end up going to the checkout with a good measure, press down, shaking together, running over bucket. You walk along, candy's falling on the ground, you know. 
And so when I read that scripture, I thought, that's what the Lord does to us. Give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. That means, somebody said, well, is God going to bless me? Yes, the Lord will bless you. But you have favor with God and with man, and everywhere you go, you can begin to expect to see blessings coming in. Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Are you with me? Then next Sunday, of course, we'll be rejoicing Amen. of the miracles. You, your testimony will be here to come tell everybody what the Lord did for you. Amen. So you wake up with that expectation. I'm believing God for big things here this week for you. We're praying over you, believing God. Mountains are going to be moved out of the way supernatural increase shall be your portion. I'm believing the Lord with you that this will be the greatest month of June that you've ever had. There's only 30 days in this month, but I'm believing the Lord. It's going to be the greatest month of June that you have ever had. When we hit the 1st of July, you'll say, I'll tell you, I never had a June like that all because of the Lord. So no matter what you're going through at this time, no matter what you might be facing, maybe you're facing some big thing this next week and you don't know how you're going to get through that, just pray, do what the Lord tells you to do, and watch what God's going to do in your life, how He's going to undertake for you. Amen? Let me read this passage of Scripture to you in Haggai chapter 2 and verse 6. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once in a little while I'll shake the heavens, the earth, and the sea, and the dry land. I'll shake all nations. The desire of all nations shall come in. I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine. Everybody say, the silver is mine, and the gold is mine. Say it again. This is God speaking. He said, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, saith the Lord of hosts. In this place I will give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. So there's peace for you, but there's provision for you. There's provision for you this week. There's provision for you this week. Look at verse 9 one more time. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. It belongs to God. It does not belong to the devil and his crowd. God did not put this stuff here for the devil and his crowd. He put it here for his people. And because he put it here for his people, the blessings are on its way to your home. There's a blessing on its way to your home right now. While you're here in church. Well, let's, let's, go, let's go to the scripture I quote. Let's go to Luke chapter, chapter 6. And let's look at verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. So God will bless you, but you're going to be blessed by men, by people. God uses people. Are you with me? He says, yeah. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured back to you again. That's what I used was the measure to put the candy in there. The bucket was the measure. So I stuffed it. God's going to stuff you full of blessings to where it's going to overflow. All right, let's, let's look at it in the Amplified. Let's look in the Amplified. If we go there, 
to uh, it's page uh, um, 1332, if you've got the same Bible as me. Give and gifts will be given you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Will they pour? Look, look what it says here. Pour into the pouch formed by the bosom of your robe and used as a bag. So in other words, whatever you could pick your robe up and hold in it. Are you with me? How many grab a hold of what I'm talking about here? So he says here, used as a bag for with the measure you deal out, with the measure you use when you confer benefits on others, it's going to be measured back to you again. That's why we should be generous. We should go out of our way to bless people. Amen. So this week is going to be a week of God's blessing upon your life, but this, this week is going to be a week of blessings coming from you to other people. So the blessings coming in and the blessings are going out, comes in and goes out. You're not like the Dead Sea with a great inlet and no outlet. The blessing comes in and it goes out. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will men give into your bosom. So don't, don't walk around this week expecting disaster. Don't walk around this week expecting people to be mean to you. Expect the favor of God upon you. People are going to see you, just take one look at you, and they're going to like you. And they don't even know why they like you. And they just want to help you. Even if you went to park and they wanted the parking, they'd just go, take the parking. I, I want you to have the parking. Well, you have to ask yourself the question, would you do that? Would you let somebody take the parking? See, the measure that you use will be measured back to you again. People said to me, I don't understand. People don't bless me. Nobody ever gives me anything. When they do, they kind of throw it at me. <laughs> and they give it with a grumpy attitude. Well, they go look in the mirror and go see what you do. Remember, the measure that you use will be the measure that comes back to you. This is not my word. I didn't write this. It's God's word. And so this week is going to be a week of good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Say this of me. This week shall be a week of good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Say it again. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Running over. One more time. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. Running over. There's people believing God for a vacation. God's going to give you a vacation. All expenses paid. The Lord's going to pay for your wedding. Somebody said, I've got to get a husband first. I understand that. But God can even bring the husband along. Everybody say, good measure. Press down. Shake it together. Running over. Say it in your house. Say it after me. Good measure. In your home now. Good measure. Good measure. Say it. Good Don't just look at the, at the TV. Say it right now before I come over to your house. Good measure. Good measure. Press down. Press down. Shake it together. Shake Running down. over. Running over. <laughs> now just act like you got it.
Just act like you got it. On its way to you now. It's on its way to you now. Now, Father, I pray your blessing on each and every person here. We receive this word. This is your word to us. This next week shall be a week of good measure. Press down, shake it together, running over. In this, the fourth month of the heaps, Thank you for miracle upon miracle upon miracle. Thank you, thank you for unexpected sources of supply. And we receive this by faith. I pray that you bless each and every person as they get ready to give today. Multiply the seed that's sown. I pray even for the people watching in their homes, even in remote places of the world. Lord, give them miracles. In this realm, we pray in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching today on YouTube. Please press the subscribe button and also the notification button and like and get the word out so others can watch.